so it broke market structure, came back. Okay. You see the chart? Yes. Okay, came back to uh, the optimal trade entry, taking out stops. Okay. Okay. If you see my videos, you also see that many times this swing here. Usually market with triangle. It's very, it's uh, a symmetrical move. Okay. Even if you missed this entry here, if, you, if you're in the market, you'll have a breaker there. And you can enter there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, so if, if, you, if you missed London, this was actually New York. If you missed New York, you could have an, another entry there. Okay. So now let's go back to your question. Where do I hold? Do I hold, where do I hold it to? So if you think it's an up week, it broke structure here, broke structure here again, broke structure here, broke, broke structure here, I'd say by now you'd have at least break even, right? Yes. And it's good you had break even because uh, you'd be stopped out. Okay. And on break even, even though you were right. This is, th that's why it's very personal. It depends on trade management. But let's see where price came here. It came somewhere. Well, again, you had market structure break there. Let's yes. copy this one. So in my, my case, I'd be holding for, for this level. But if you're moving your stops too soon yes. or, or too late, yeah. Uh, this might happen. You might have a perfect entry and you'll be stopped out at break even here or not depends depends on where you enter. If you if you'd have if you've entered there the thirty pip stop. If you hadn't moved the target, the, the, the stop, you'd be okay. But then again, let's see. Uh, you entered there, mo moved up. You adjusted the fib like we did before. Now this is the yeah. new one. You adjust the fib. You came back down? No. You adjust the fib. They came back down. No, did it break structure here? It did. So what I probably would have done was yeah. the reverse. It broke market market structure here. <clears throat> so now, if if I wasn't able to get it out here, I probably would get out here. Okay. And I'd lose, I'd lose this profit. Uh -huh. But I'd still have this one. Yeah. Okay. And now it broke here. Where's the the candle that started to move up? Are these ones? These two are the candles that started to move up. It broke that thing. Oops, it was this one. So 
So depending on where you put, if you include candles or not. So there's your optimal, but during Asia, I'm sleeping in Asia, during Asia. Okay. I'm sleeping here. I wouldn't have a trade, but the pattern is there. You have stops here. And then you have a move into the optimal trade entry that takes out the stops, but I wouldn't have gone in here because I was asleep. Okay. But I could have gone in there. Okay. So I pull here. I could have gone in there, but this doesn't have that thing I like that it doesn't take out the stops. So even though it's a perfect entry here, it's not my perfect entry. My perfect entry would be here. Because this is, well, each one has its own, his, his or her own strategy. My perfect entry would be there because I'd have stops there. I'd have stops there. So this swing took out those stops. So I don't know if I would have gone in there. Okay. Could have gone in there. So let's do the same thing. Let's go move out. We got, let's erase the, this. So is it ideal? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, is it ideal to look for uh, market structure break on the one hour? Yeah, perfectly. Okay. Uh, here, you're looking at market break structure in a one hour. Oh, yes. Uh, but uh, if, if you don't go into the lower time frame, yes. your, your entry would, would, would only be here uh, on Friday. But that's Asia uh -huh. again, and you <laughs> probably only have this one at New York. It's too too close to the market uh, close. So okay. you can look for market structure break on the one hour. And refine it on the lower time frame. Yeah. What's that? Imran says he's missing the audio. What? Uh, Mr. Imran says he's missing the audio. He can't hear you. Oh, but that's his. Okay, so if you had gone in there, yes, this is another week. 
I kind of lost myself now. Okay, this is another week. That ultimate target would be hit. Where market structure broke on a higher time frame. Okay. We'd be hit there. Take out the Asian stuff. Okay. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, could you open the Australian dollar US dollar? Sure. Uh, and just analyze the past week, last week. Okay. Because I'm seeing a lot of market structure breaking. What? I'm seeing a lot of uh, the market structure breaking. To the upside. To the upside. Yeah. Yeah, that's happening on all all um, dollar uh, pairs. But okay. So while you're seeing a lot of break, the dollar is not going down. Uh, Last week, the the dollar uh, the dollar pairs have been going up or down, but the dollar index going sideways. Uh huh. So I think this is going up, and all the other pairs are going down. It's my personal opinion. Okay. Ah, yes, it's not going down. It doesn't look like it's going down. Yes, absolutely. And, absolutely. And even if I look on the daily, this, or weekly, it's, not the weekly. it's at, at an important level. Yes. It can come down there. If it breaks this, well, it, it's going to fall. And it's, this is going to depend on, on, on the Trump news now. Yes, the shutdown but, news. Yeah, but they probably will. Uh, they probably will do something today and then. <laughs> figure out something today and then the market will open, will gap down, I don't know. We'll get up, we'll get up. Okay, <clears throat> any more questions? 
you have any questions? Um, So basically, it's uh, the steps are looking for the market structure break. Yeah. Uh, um, plotting the FIB uh, to look for the optimal trade entry. Uh, Passe looking for the retracement. Yeah. And um, an ideal retracement has to have sort of stops being taken. That's for me. Okay. That's for my. Uh, I'm more confident when that happens. Okay. When something like this happens. Okay. Well, I was looking at like this. Because this will give you the breaker. The move just okay. down will not give you the breaker. So as I told you before, this gives you another entry there. See yes. This gives you another entry there. Uh-huh. And if, if you see the swings, also, if the swing is perfectly symmetrical, yes, it, it's it's not uh, random. I think this one okay. doesn't have the breaker. So if you go on the five minutes, well, probably you have a or I would have an entry. Let's see. Five minutes there. Yeah, I could say that on the five minutes I have an entry, but I, I I wouldn't go there. I would miss this trade. Okay. Uh, again, this this one retraced, and you you have stops there. Okay. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I think it's well understood. Okay, so back to your question, where do I hold it to? You pull the fibs. Yes. But if you want to hold to hold the whole week, you look for where does it make sense? Where did market structure break on the other side? Uh, so is it sensible to hold to target two, maybe target two on the field? Because at least it usually hits target two. Most of the time. Yeah, man, but you, you have, it's a very personal thing. You, you got to manage your own trades. I mean, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. I, I, the last trade, I took I, I don't know 164 pips or something like that. Uh, because if if you're just trading a, a little retracement, like here you had a bottom, then you yes. had a stop run on that yes. bottom, and you had a little retracement. Personally, I'm not very comfortable. Uh, In say risking, uh, let's say you go in there 30 pips. Say so go in there for 30 pips. And you'd be looking, just going to put two boxes and see. Okay. Then I'll, I'll I'll copy them. Just okay. If you're entering on this retracement, 
yes. when you're looking for target one, it's a one-to-one -one reward, risk, risk reward ratio. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay. Even one to two, I'm not comfortable with that. Okay. Uh, so if you look on a higher time frame and you're looking for the ultimate move up here. Yes. Because that's where structure bre breaks on a higher time frame. Five to one. Yeah, so, but to have this trade, you need either luck or patience. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how do you develop that patience? Well, you're, you're not looking at the screen all the time for one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because it's not easy, man. I mean, I, I did, I did uh, a move, a uh, trade once, I made, uh, I, I put it on video, a thousand and four bips or something. It's, it's a four month trade. Uh, God. It's, it's something I don't want to do <laughs> never again. <laughs> Why? Yeah. yeah, it's here, like, here, you're, you're up 100 pips. Then you're yes. at zero. <laughs> then you're at seventy. Then you're then it it goes well, but you'll get this many times. You get a hundred and you get a ten, and then you'll be at the hundred and forty, and then you get thirty, and it takes a lot of patience. But, okay. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't advise that. That was uh, last year. Okay. I'm I'm doing one similar. Okay. But uh, it's it's uh, euro, and my entry was there. I'm al already at break even. Uh, well, I got a little profit, and I'm holding it till there. Uh, okay. This is on the weekly. I'm I'm holding it till the gap that was produced when they debagged from the, the, the from gold. Okay. So I'm more than halfway up. But well, you see that I just forgot about this trade. You sort of have to forget about it. You have to yeah. forget about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's. It's going nicely. I entered there. So okay. I'm looking ultimately for five hundred and something pips. Wow. But it's not worth it. I mean this is just I mean, if if it was on uh, if it was a trade like this on pound, yeah, it would be great. It'd be already in the two four thousand pips. But here you got ninety. You got three months to make five hundred pips. Uh, it's just crazy. But well, it's just going so well. So if it breaks market structure down, I'll get out. Okay. But it's it's close to my target. It's very close. Okay. Okay. I think uh, in case anything comes up, maybe a question. I'll just ask you, and then we maybe if it needs a session, we can do again. Yeah. 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 Are I you? How long have you been training? Uh, studying for a year, trading for six, six, seven months now. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are Just you that. on demo? demo? I've been on demo for, for nine months. Demo. 
So basically trying the various strategies. But once I found out ICT, I was, uh, I've studied ICT for a year flat, 12 months studying ICT. Trading a small live account. Okay. So did it did this help? A lot, a lot. Okay. I appreciate it because basically what I think I was overlooking was the market structure break. That I think is very important from now on. Yeah, it, it, if it breaks on the on the fifteen minutes, it will retrace yeah. more than when it breaks on the on the one hour. Okay. So it it depends on if you're on demo still. Well, test yeah. one week, just paying attention yeah. with the one hour break. Sometimes the yeah. one hour break and the 15 minute break will be exactly at the same point. Um, yeah. But other times it will, it will not. And, then, and again, it depends on the time you have and uh, the time you have to look at the market. Uh, I think I can do it. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome, you. Thank man. You. Thank you. What you've done is amazing. So, You're welcome. Good afternoon. Bye. Bye, man. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.